If you've ever heard the expression, there's more than one way to skin a cat, it definitely applies to solving systems of linear equations. In this video, I'll demonstrate two standard methods, the method of substitution and the method of elimination. If we want to solve this system of linear equations using the method of substitution, the basic idea is to use one of the equations to solve for a variable in terms of the other variables, and then substitute in to the other equations. In this example, I notice that in equation three, I already have b solved for in terms of 2a plus c. So that makes it easy to substitute in 2a plus c everywhere I see a b in the other equations to get rid of the b variable there. So my first equation becomes negative 2a plus 3 times 2a plus c plus 4c equals 1. And my second equation becomes a plus 2a plus c plus 5c equals 2. I'll just carry down my third equation. Now, let me simplify my first equation a bit. I'll distribute and group like terms. Minus 2a plus 6a is 4a, 3c plus 4c is 7c, and that equals 1. I'll also simplify the second equation by getting rid of the unnecessary parentheses and combining like terms. Once again, I'll just carry over the third equation. Notice that my first two equations now have only the variables a and c in them. Once again, I'll solve for one variable, say a, in one of the equations, say the first one, and then substitute that in to the second equation. So in the first equation, I have 4a equals 1 minus 7c, so a equals 1 fourth minus 7 fourth c, and I'll plug that in to the second equation. So everywhere I see an a, I'm going to put in 1 fourth minus 7 fourth c. Once again, I'll simplify by distributing. Combining like terms, let's see. 6c is the same as 24 fourths c, and 24 fourths minus 21 fourths is 3 fourths c, so that's equal to 2. I can subtract the 3 fourths to the other side, so I get 3 fourths c equals 2 minus 3 fourths, so 2 is 8 fourths, so 8 fourths minus 3 fourths is 5 fourths, so that means that c is equal to 5 fourths divided by 3 fourths, which is the same thing as 5 fourths times 4 thirds, or 5 thirds. So I now have a numerical value for c. c is equal to 5 thirds. Poor equation 3 gets carried along for the ride yet again. Well, I've made huge progress here. Now that I have a numerical value for c, I can plug that number into this version of the first equation and get a number for a. So my first equation is now going to be a equals 1 fourth minus 7 fourths times 5 thirds. So that's 1 fourth minus 35 twelfths. That's 3 twelfths minus 35 twelfths, which is minus 32 twelfths, which is minus 8 thirds. So I have that a equals minus 8 thirds. Now I can plug a and c into the third equation to get b. Let me just copy the second equation over for completeness. And now the third equation becomes b equals 2 times negative 8 thirds plus 5 thirds. So that's negative 16 thirds plus 5 thirds or negative 11 thirds. C, uh, B equals negative 11 thirds. And I found the solution to the system of linear equations. I can check my work by plugging in these values into each of the three equations to make sure that they do in fact satisfy all three equations. 
Now I'm going to attack the same system of three linear equations using the method of elimination. The idea behind this method is I add or subtract multiples of equations together to get rid of variables. Before I start though, I'm going to write my equations in the standard form where all the variables are on the left and all the constants are on the right. The first two equations are already in this standard form. So I'll just rewrite the third one. I'll put negative 2a plus b minus c equals 0 as an equivalent equation in standard form. I'm going to try to eliminate my variable a from some of the equations first. Notice that if I added together equation 1 and equation 2, I wouldn't eliminate the variable a because I have negative two copies of a here and only one copy of a here, so they wouldn't cancel out. However, if I take my equation 1 and add twice equation 2 to it, then I'll have two copies of a to cancel exactly with these negative two copies of a. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take equation 2, twice equation 2, and once equation 1, add them together, and put that in the place where I, I currently have equation 2. So I'll do this over on the side. So I'll just write down my equation 1. That's negative 2a plus 3b plus 4c equals 1. And then I'm going to write down twice equation 2. So that's 2a plus 2b plus 10c equals 4, because I had to multiply everything by 2. And now I'm going to add these together, and I'll get 0 copies of A, 5 copies of B, 14 copies of C, and that's going to equal 5. So this is what I'm going to put as my new equation 2. Here, I'll write it down here. 5B plus 14C equals 5. My equation 1, I'm just going to copy down. Now I can do the same trick to replace equation 3 with something where variable a is eliminated. So for example, I could take equation 1 and subtract equation 3 and put that where equation 3 is. There are other things that I could do too. For example, I could take twice equation 2 plus equation 3, but I'll, I'll just do it this way. Um, so that means I'm taking equation 1 so equation 1, negative 2a plus 3b plus 4c equals 1. And I'm going to take equation 3, negative 2a plus b minus c equals 0. And I'm going to subtract. My a's will cancel. 3b minus b is 2b. 4c minus negative c is 4c plus c, so that's 5c. And 1 minus 0 is 1. So this is my new equation 3. 2b plus 5c equals 1. So as desired, I've gotten rid of variable a in the second and third equation. Now I'm going to try to use equation 2 and 3 to eliminate another variable, say b. In the second equation, b has a coefficient of 5. In the third equation, a coefficient of 2. So if I take twice equation 2, twice equation 2, and then subtract 5 times equation 3, those coefficients on b should cancel out. Let's try that. So twice equation 2, that's going to be multiplying everything by 2. So 10b plus 28c equals 10. And now 5 times equation 3, that's going to be 10b plus 25c equals 5. But I'm going to subtract that, and that's going to give me the b's cancel as I want. 3c, because 28 minus 25 is 3, 10 minus 5 is 5. Huh. So I'll copy down my equations. From here, it's easy to find c. It's just 5 thirds, same as before. And once again, I can plug in that number into the second equation to solve for b. 5b plus 14 times 5 thirds equals 5, means that 5b is 5 minus 
70 thirds. So that means that 5b is 15 thirds minus 70 thirds, which is negative 55 thirds. So b is negative 55 thirds divided by 5, which is minus 11 thirds. And finally, I can plug in both the value of c and the value of b into equation 1 to solve for a. I have minus 2a plus 3 times minus 11 thirds plus 4 times 5 thirds equals 1. And when the dust clears, that gives me the value of a as minus 8 thirds. So I've finished solving this system of equations using the method of elimination. In this video, we solved the same system of linear equations in two different ways. First, using substitution, and then using elimination. And thankfully, we got the same answer both times because math is wonderful like that. So in another video, I'll solve this same system of linear equations yet again in a third way by writing it as a matrix and using matrix row operations.